Take your CJ7 all the way to 11. Jeep with cool guys. So as we move through and nakedify the Jeep engine, we're going to take off the distributor and the coil. This is a fairly simple process. Um, you're going to have to find top dead center and all that other stuff when you put this stuff all back together and redo your timing. But for right now, uh, it's going to be really simple. So as you're pulling out your cords, don't worry about it too much because they obviously all sync up to your distributor. Um, so once you get those out and you've disconnected your coil, then there's one support uh, nut uh, bolt down underneath here that holds in a support tongue um, that presses the distributor down into the engine block. And that is a half inch, and I'm almost 99.9999% sure that that's exactly what that is. Of course, that's a 9 sixteenths. And this is the support tongue that I was telling you about, the bracket, um, pressure bracket. Uh, you can see how it's angled up. It's actually supposed to be that way, so that when you put the bolt down and put the tension on the bolt, this uh, applies the pressure. If you did it this way, then it wouldn't apply enough direct pressure to the actual alt or distributor. Okay, once you get that into place, then pull her out. Distributor. I actually think I'm going to replace this because I believe that somehow there is some kind of an oil leak so that the pressure of the oil actually goes up and comes out through, um, which is unfortunate. I'm going to replace this with an HEI distributor anyways, um, just because I want to get rid of this and the coil and have something that's got a little bit better cranking power. Now let's take off the, the coil. These are actually torque bolts. Um, they look like 40s maybe. Alright, this is actually is a T25. So you're going to have to have one that's fairly long just to be able to get back into it. And it's just the two torque bolts on the side. And that's all that holds this thing in. Also connected to this is the support bracket for your dipstick. And this whole thing is one big steel piece. So um, I'm not going to bend this out too much. You can rotate it if you want to. Um, you can actually straighten it up and completely unwind it if you really feel the need to. But I'm leaving this in place for now because it serves me no purpose to take this out. So here's your coil. Um, it's held, your coil is held in by this one screw that connects the two pieces of the actual bracket, um, the holder. One thing of note, when you take your distributor out, there is a little tiny gasket. It's a little hair thin gasket that actually sits right on top of this. Gouge this, be very careful when you take it out. But it's just a simple, very thin rubber gasket. That's pretty much about it. Um, kind of paper thin almost. So yeah, obviously you want to clean this up. Make sure you don't get any gasket material down in there because that's your actual crankcase inside there. And that wouldn't be good for your pistons and all the other fun things. Um, so depending on where you are in your process, you might want to put something in there that is going to keep whatever debris that you get off of the engine out. So like a cloth or a paper towel or something. Which is what I'm going to do next.